Yes, good morning, dear students. Uh, so, you know, uh, apart from your main papers, you have your complementary paper, uh, which is giving a, a good and well course on the topics which should be covered for the journalism. In your session, you have seen the, in the portions I was dealing for you, uh, I've been dealing with uh, newspapers, pamphlets, the different characteristics, the different types of print media we will see. Now, uh, when, when you move on from your first sem to second sem, you are asked to learn about the pioneers of Indian journalism, uh, where you have to take the uh, even the journalist dueling and before the time, uh, during the time and even before the period of Indian independence, uh, there you have to take the journalists from every part of India as well as you have to focus again the people from Kerala and uh, the papers and all the news which is associated with uh, our place. So, uh, in what I am doing for you, I have to say it in perspective from Indian journalism, uh, not just focusing on what has happened in Kerala during in the time of independence, but I have to see from the uh, world leaders who have come here and uh, made this stream a prominent one in India. So, every time when you start to speak of journalism, you will have to typically start from James Augustus Hickey. So, he is the one who has started this uh, bang and uh, wave of journalism right back in India. Irish man who has come here as a surgeon by occupation and uh, who being deeply associated other than his profession, occupational profession, he was, he had a passion for journalism and, but uh, uh, he was a fearless journalist also we could say about him, not just a person who just want to emanate knowledge or uh, pass information, he want to criticize, he want to do some roles and responsibilities uh, even not being an Indian, he was an Irish man and he was strongly criticizing the British Empire at that time in India and about the Governor General's rule and uh, after the case, uh, he was he was taken to prison and later his papers were confiscated and uh, banned and all these things happened. So we have to see uh, of, about James Augustus Siki and he's called as a papa of Indian press, like a godfather he was for the Indian press. Uh, India's first ever newspaper, James Augustus Siki, was a symbol of fearless journalist. The papa of Indian press, he was a symbol of fearless journalist. In the year 1780, you have to see, 1780, India got its first ever newspaper. And the man single-handedly made it possible was James Augustus Hickey. So you go back to the year 1780, India got its first ever newspaper. And the man who single-handedly made it possible was James Augustus Ike. The champion figure of journalism has inspired a crop of dauntless journalists in India. The champion figure of journalism. We, even today, we could find the influence of James Augustus Ike in the journalists we find today. The champion figure of journalism has inspired a crop of dauntless journalists in India. And he is the one we have a couple of good journalists in India with the recent even there is a hierarchy which is being continued. And Irish man James Augustus Siki, known as the Papa of Indian Press by the British, built the framework of journalism in the 18th century. So, a framework of journalism, 1780, so it is 18th century, beginning of the 18th century. So, the Papa of uh, the Irish man James Augustus Siki, known as the Papa of Indian Press by the British, built the framework of journalism in the 18th century. Calcutta, which was then under the rule of East India Company, and now you know it was it started from West Bengal, Calcutta, and it was the rule of the East India Company at that time. Hickey started a newspaper called Bengal Gazette, which also known as Hickey's Bengal Gazette. So that that newspaper was called called known as Bengal Gazette, or it was known as Hickey's Bengal Gazette, or the Calcutta General Advertiser. So any of these questions should be asked about Hickey's Bengal Gesset, about Calcutta's General Advertiser and Bengal Gesset. All these three mean the same one and one. And which hit the stands for the first time on January 29, 1780. It was the first time, first manifestation of journalism in India serving as a public watchdog. Now the purpose of journalism, it was serving as a public watchdog against the mismanagement and the wrongdoings of government and corruption in the society. So this was the first manifest manifestation of journalism in India, like a Bible it was actually. It was like a, a, a divine work. It was like it was like a watchdog. It was 
uh, like uh, strongly criticizing the government at that time and it was a first manifestation of like the capital um, and all this it was having a purpose it was to it was to uh, criticize the wrong doings of the government that time and it was arrogantly criticizing all those and it was a first manifestation of journalism in india serving as a public watchdog against the mismanagement and wrong doings of government and corruption in the society and a circulation in the beginning it was a circulation of 200 copies you know some two three pages uh, it was uh, like only uh, on saturdays and just two three pages and published on every saturday the bengal gazette was written edited and printed by hiki who was the vice surgeon by occupation it had only two sheets with three columns on each page and was printed on both sides of the pages so only two sheets with the three columns on each page is printed on both sides of the paper its circulation was limited not exceeding 200 copies so just on saturdays two to three pages on both sides and limited to 200 copies and warren hastings he is a governor journal that time and warren hastings was not impressed and he was not impressed what with what he was doing warren hastings was not impressed the news paper drew strong criticism for its coarse language very tough language very strong derogatory language not uh, sorry not derogatory language but very strong critical language he was using the coarse language and his blood comment blunt commentary on the government he was not uh, saying who is who is going to praise him who is what kind of uh, like punishments he will go have to undergo he was having the very coarse language and blunt commentary on the government he kept ruthlessly carried out tirades against the east india company he was just strongly putting out the bashes against east india company so in bengal gazette provoked the ire of the then governor general so now this has provoked the ire the wrath of the governor general then hastings warren hastings warren hastings was furious about the malicious and sarcastic contents he used to publish in his newspaper so he was publishing very malicious and uh, sarcastic contents in the newspaper and warren hastings was very much against this uh was furious about the malicious and sarcastic content sikki used to publish in this newspaper about him and also the chief justice elija impe and again he was even against the chief justice elija impe so he filed a case against him and hikki was in prison now a case was filed against hikki and he was in prison hikki was stubborn he was very strong even then though he was in prison he continued to publish his gazette even when he was in jail and with some of his friends and colleagues and journalists he used to publish this and he continued to publish his gengal gazette gazette when even when he was in jail and his criticism grew harsher finally warren hastings ceased his printing machines and typewriters and march 1782 saw the end of bengal gazette it was a big setback for the freedom of press now it was a first act towards a pre- uh, setting an end to the freedom of the press and an epitome of epitome of fearless journalism james agustus siki is still revered by many journalists as an epitome of fearless journalism and the famous decker's lane in calcutta has now been rechristened as james hickey sarani so now this is renamed as james hickey sarani and journalism is taking a new leap every day as more newspapers tv channels websites are coming into the market so now it is growing each day with the new channels newspapers and websites coming into the market journalism in india has also gone way ahead of the times now it has gone ahead of the times and when one have to wait till the morning now for the hindu subscription you have to pay some thousand rupees for a year and you get everything in your mobile laptop or pc whatever it is so now uh, it is growing each day and Uh, journalism in india has gone away ahead of the times when one had to wait till the morning for the newspaper to arrive or the prime time news shots at all india radio so every time before just there was just print and audio akashwani was there we used to wait for this the morning uh, shows in the radio the news in the radio bullets in the radio as well as the newspapers but now we don't have to wait for all this you don't have to wake up in the morning and read you can just know even the channels will show what is happening to come in the next newspaper they are anticipating uh, last day evening and just airing to you so everything is growing each day and day and uh, no matter how many steps we take it all started with james sikki so that is important so whatever steps and new methods and new innovations are coming daily it all started with james agustus sikki we could say and so, so this is about james agustus sikki um, so what you have to do is as as soon as you listen to the class just note down all the points related to james agustus sikki 
uh, you can even refer to other other sites whether you could be provided more information anyhow this could be a two mark and four mark question and they would be asking about kk's bengal gazette otherwise calcutta journal advertiser all these questions would accompany along with james against zikki so thank you and what i plan to do is i'll just finish off in the journalism i'll really get on to the main topics that would be better so some seven or eight personalities pioneers we have to see here and then we can uh, shift on to your main topics so in meantime you can read and discover a short story which is given to you the pdf which is shared with you you can just read on that and get prepared as we finish yes okay then thank you